guys, if you're new here, my name is Sam and I make videos about makeup, chronic illness, and whatever I want. And today I am doing a gift idea list of my favorite things and things I would like to get myself after lots of research. I have broken these down into categories and I'll leave like little timestamps. While this list has plenty of all over the map price rise items, I will say I am in a phase of my life where I have my holy grail items for the most part. So some of it will be luxury and it's kind of a one and done. I don't have to replace it because the item will last forever. Or it's high end beauty care and it's something that I notice major differences with and I feel like it is worth the price. So I think it's worth paying. Don't feel pressured to buy something that you can't afford because I'm saying it's the best. You can buy something that's much more in your budget and works better for your skin. These are just products I have repurchased multiple times or I use on a regular basis if it isn't something you can use up. So keep that in mind throughout the video. Did bring a lot of things here with me so I can show you instead of doing everything in a picture like I normally do. We are going to start with skincare. First up is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is kind of being washed out, isn't it? This is a cleanser I have been using for years and it's good for all skin types. I have acne prone skin. It's fairly normal. This time of year it's very dry. Like if you could see my skin in person right now, it looks absolutely horrific. It is so dry and scaly. I kind of look like a crocodile, but <laughs> this Face wash is good for all skin types. I did tons of research trying to find a face wash that was gentle on all skin types and wouldn't break me out. And this is a great universal one. It is fairly pricey, but this bottle, I want to say this is $38. This bottle lasts me quite a long time. Next is the Tatcha, the Silk Peony Eye Cream. Started using an eye cream last year. I want to say I keep this in the box just because of where I store it but you can see I have has a fuzz in it I have used almost all of it and I have a backup ready to go I tend to pick this up when it's on sale this I got because my under eyes can be fairly dry I don't notice that it has helped with any kind of wrinkles or anything but it has definitely helped even out my dark circles like, I have genetically dark under eyes. That's just how it is. There is no cure, but that has helped a lot, and it has completely gotten rid of the dry under eye. My under eyes are now very well hydrated, so I highly recommend that. So next item is something I have been using since 2018 or 2017. One of the others, and this is the Junk Elephant TLC Framboose glycolic night serum. This is what keeps my acne under control. There's no cure for my acne. As you can see, I have some active breakouts right now and that is okay. Skin is imperfect, but this keeps it from getting out of control and painful and leading to infections. It's very, very gentle. Everyone I have suggested tries this has loved it. Another pricey item, but like I said, I have been using this for four to five years now and I don't see myself stopping unless it's discontinued, which I hope it never is. Next is another Drunk Elephant. This is Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. This has vitamin B5, uh, pineapple ceramide, and I think maybe there's some hyaluronic acid in it. I would have to look. This I mix in particularly in the winter, into any of my moisturizers to give me that extra boost of hydration. And I, my skin would be even worse without this, let me tell you. This works really well. I actually read a list once from dermatologists, like, what products from Drunk Elephant don't have dupes, and this was one of them. And I will say, it is one of the best. Next, I have the Drunk Elephant Verge virgin marula luxury facial oil i keep it in here because it comes in a ceramic bottle and i don't want um any kitty cats to knock it over and shatter it so because it's kind of a protective thing i keep it in here 
I mentioned in my favorites video that I switched back to this after trying a cheaper version and this does work better. I'm not taking questions at this time. This is worth every penny for me because my skin absorbs this so much better. Next is, this is a mini one, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I got a set last year from Sephora of like five and I'm only just now running out of one of these. And when they're not open, they last quite a while, but you barely need any of this. It works so well. I know some people don't have good luck with this. I think it's fantastic. And while it is on the pricier side, I think a full size is like $24. This will probably last you until it expires. Not even joking. Up next is the Mighty Patch. Mine are almost gone. I ordered some new ones that are on the way. These work so good. I know it could be kind of weird to gift these to another individual, uh, not insulting them or anything, but these are great to just add on to a gift because they work so well. I mentioned these are my favorites as well. They help minimize the scarring. They really clear up a pimple or blemish so quickly as long as it has a white head on it. And they're not very expensive. I think these are a great thing and I would love to get them as a gift myself. Next, we're going to move on to body care items. I have quite a few of those as well. Uh, first up, let me start with exfoliating gloves. You can never have too many of these. I have probably a dozen because I switch them out after each shower so they are clean on a regular basis. I was definitely under exfoliating my body. I was just using a regular washcloth and that is okay but I have KP so I need that extra scrub that isn't too harsh and those exfoliating mitts are so great. You can get them at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all sorts of places really cheap, like $1.99 or $2.99. You can also get them on the Amazon. I think those are great to add into a gift because everyone can use them and you can't have too many. Next, I have either Lush Shower Gel or Bar Soap. So Sticky Dace is a great scent if you love um, food type scents, but I just grabbed this one as a physical example. I think their body products are quite hydrating and my skin personally loves them. It's really helping my KP quite a bit. But the soap, the bar soap is actually a bit more budget friendly just because it lasts a little longer. This I have in the scent Sleepy. Sleepy and Twilight I think is the bath bomb version of, of it's the same scent but it has a different name. This is great if you want to get something relaxing. It's like lavender and tonka. I highly recommend this as a relaxing scent. But honestly, any of the scents you can't go wrong with. I just love their body products. Speaking of body products, we have two more items. On the vein of showering, I don't have any bath items to recommend because I don't take baths. This is the body conditioner. I don't know how many scents this comes in, but this scent is so nice. Mmm. It smells ever so lightly of roses, but on me, when I use it, it kind of smells like rhubarb pie, which I very much like. This is pricey. I'm not joking. You will see the price and kind of like think that I'm an insane person. However, if you are somebody who hates lotion, like hates a feeling of lotion, or you have a chronic illness and sometimes add it, putting lotion on is just kind of fatiguing. You don't have the energy, which is why I got this. This you use after you wash your body. So you use soap and then you apply this. It has like a very thin lotion type um, texture. You just rub it on. A little goes a long way. So like I have used this, God, I don't know how many times, like a dozen times. Like look at how much I have left. You really, I would say for my whole body, I just have to scoop a, a little out twice. One for the top half, one for the bottom half. And this hydrates your skin so well. If you can put lotion on after this, you'll be the softest you've ever been in your entire life. But if you can't put on lotion or don't like the texture of lotion, this helps you feel really moisturized without the gross, greasy feeling. And I'm uh, just a great gift. And the last Lush product, I think I'm looking at my little box here, is their body lotion. These come in all sorts of scents. This is my favorite everyday scent. 
Dream Cream because it doesn't have a super strong fragrance. It's just very, very light. It kind of just has a lotion-y smell. It says it's oat milk, lavender, and chamomile to help ease and cool, easily irritate skin. I like this one the most just because it doesn't like compete with the fragrances I choose to wear. I do have the sleepy one for when I just want that calming, relaxing type smell. Now I have, I'm almost out of this one, but I have had this. I actually forget because my little date wore off. I want to say I've had this since the summer. A little goes a long way. This is one of the most hydrating lotions I have ever used. So again, while it's pricey, it makes a fantastic gift. And the nice thing about Lush is if you gift it and they aren't a fan of the scent, the exchange um, policy is very, very nice and they are very helpful at Lush. So great gifts all around. Next up is this Pure by Venus uh, rifle Paper Company. I don't know if it's always Rifle Paper Company, but it's the scent Honey Flower with Shea Butter. This is amazing if you know someone who shaves. It smells so good. I'm very particular about scents. This smells fabulous. This is my fourth bottle of this. I actually got it the first time free through Influencer to try, and I've been buying it ever since because I just love it. You can see, like, I'm um, pretty much out of this one as well. This makes my legs so soft. It really helps with the KP. It doesn't clog any pores and it really helps prevent cuts and like razor burn. So this is great. So I would say it would be awesome to throw into a gift if you have a shaving friend or family member. Next up I have the CeraVe moisturizing cream in the tub. It has to be in the tub. I am almost out of this. I don't even know if you can see like this is like right here. This is probably like the 50th tub of this I've gone through. This is great for your face. It does not clog your pores. It's incredibly moisturizing. It's great for your body. I would say if you don't want to splurge on this, this is a great alternative. Absolutely unscented, hypoallergenic, like it's accepted by the National Eczema Association. Uh, absolutely great multi-use product. I use other moisturizers on my face but in the winter I always default back to this as my base layer moisturizer to just really hydrate my face. My toothbrush I threw in body care because I wasn't gonna make a tooth section for one thing. Sonicare toothbrush. I've been using this for at least 10 years. Amazing. Blasts the plaque off your teeth. Highly recommended by the dentist. I think it's a great little gift. It it doesn't have to be a whole gift. It's not super expensive unless you get the really fancy one. I just recommend the basic entry because that's what I have. And mine is still the same toothbrush. I've been using it for this whole 10 years. I think it's not really a fun gift, but it's very practical. And I think that everyone should be using an electric toothbrush. And I'm sure my dentist would agree with me. On to nail care. This first item, I don't have one with me, but it's just a good old fashioned pumice stone. Easy to throw in a gift basket can never have too many, and anyone can use them. So, great idea. Next up, I have the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. You can see mine is fairly low. This is my second bottle, I think. This works so well at just moisturizing your cuticles, but getting that annoying bits that, like, stay on your nails when you push them back, and it's very affordable. So, if you want to make, like, a little nail care basket, could pair it with uh, Sally Hansen Cuticle Rehab. This, I don't know what is in it, but it smells so good. Like, it smells amazing. I can't get enough of it. Mine is almost gone. This is, I don't know what number two by mom. This is also very affordable. You can make like a little nail basket or like body care basket and throw that in there and some lotions and stuff. I don't have any nail polishes specifically to recommend because you really can't go wrong with any of them have become quite particular about OPI. I think they have changed the quality and only certain shades work as well as they used to. So keep that in mind. Okay, next item are these orange, what are they? Wooden orange sticks for put it, pushing back cuticles. I don't like the reusable ones because I don't think that they work as well. 
I like these because I can use them when I paint my nails to clean it up. My last nail care item I can't find is the Lemony Flutter uh, Cuticle Butter from Lush. I like to use it on my feet, like my heels specifically. It smells amazing, it smells like Fruity Pebbles, but it also is just very hydrating and I've used probably like 20 tubs of it over the last 10 years. So highly recommend that. Let's move on to hair care. First up, I have the Olaplex shampoo. Can I focus? Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. I'm on about to start bottle three of shampoo, and this is bottle two of the conditioner. Obviously, I go through shampoo way quicker than conditioner because I only use like a little blip. This is a very concentrated conditioner, so if you have thin hair like me, use lightly. These are great. They have completely changed my hair for the better. I have very brittle hair because of my thyroid condition. It breaks very easily. It was incredibly damaged when I was dyeing it. The damage is mostly gone now because I only have like this much dye left in my hair. Definitely recommend that. Next up, if you or whoever you are gifting likes dry shampoo, this is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. And this is, I don't even know what can. I'm almost out of it. I don't use dry shampoo as much anymore because when my hair started to fall out after the illness, I didn't want to um, clog follicles. So now that it's growing back in, I only use this when I absolutely have absolutely have to. The original scent is my personal favorite, although I'm waiting for the day that they create a dry shampoo that doesn't have a fragrance. That would be the absolute best. This works fantastic. Doesn't have a really bad like white cast on it and I'll just always love this one. The next hair item is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. I use this as my heat protectant, but this also just makes my hair very smooth and soft. I have wavy hair, as you can tell, and it can get very frizzy. This helps control the frizz. I like a multi-use product. I have been using this since, I think, 2014, so this is a regular repurchase for me. Next up is a hair clip. This looks really gross. I like the flat, like, octopus-looking ones just because they're more comfortable. I have one in right now, actually. Um, yeah. They come in multiple sizes. They come in a smaller one and they come in a larger one. I just have thin hair, so I don't need the big one. Next is, I forgot to pull this out. We have the Conair Curling Iron. I forget exactly. I think this might be the one inch or the one and a half. I think it's the one and a half. This is super budget friendly and I love this curling iron. The only thing I don't absolutely love is this weird bump here. Sometimes my hair wants to snag on it, but with a little practice, I, I managed to figure that out. But I think these are like $10 and they work great. I will be linking as much of this stuff as I can in the description. My last hair hair item, if you're feeling like really giving, or I don't know, you have a gift card or you're making a wish list for yourself. I know it's so expensive. It's so like disgustingly expensive, but I have never had a hair dryer that is this gentle on my hair. I keep it on the lowest heat setting and it still dries my hair three times as fast as a traditional hair dryer. This has helped heal my hair so much. It does such little damage. And I like at least blow drying my roots because it gives them volume, but also they don't get greasy as fast if I blow dry them. If I air dry my roots, they just get kind of gross. Uh, so this has been a wonderful gift and it's the Dyson hair dryer. I realize I didn't say that, but I kind of assumed you could see it. Uh, if you have the budget and you really want to like ball out on someone, like everyone recommends the air wrap. I have no desire for the air wrap. I'm just a hair dryer and curling iron kind of gal. Okay, let's talk some fragrance. Some of these I have, some of these are actually on my wish list. The first is what has become my signature fragrance over the years. And that is, well, I should say my signature winter fragrance. And that is Jo Malone Orange Bitters. You can only get this at the holiday. 
My bottle looks quite full, actually. But this is one of her fragrances that you don't need to apply that frequently. Also, I do rotate my fragrances, to be fair. But this is... I want the candle of this really bad. It's on my wish list this year, actually, the candle. Because this just smells like heaven. It's just... It's warm. It's sexy. It's orange. It's... I don't have the notes written down for you, but this is Christmas in a bottle, hands down. Now, if you don't like warm, slightly maybe masculine leaning scents, you won't like this, but like if you are willing to give it a chance, like this is, I love it. I'm in love with it. Next up is my usual segment, signature, <laughs> signature fragrance, and this is Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Mmm. It's like has almost like a caramelized scent to it it's warm but not too warm it's very fresh this layers so nicely with so many of her other fragrances this will always have my heart even though I have some other fragrances that have become more of a favorite I will always love this one up next I only have a little sample of this this was also on my list this is La Labo Rose 31 if you like floral, but you want something kind of different, this is it. This is like, I have a cat hair trying to make its appearance. This is like, if you love warm masculine scents, but you want to give a floral a try, it's like they had a baby. I This helped me find my love of rose perfumes, that's for sure. I did not put Santal 33 on this list because I think that's a hard one to give as a gift. It is a very personal scent. You either love it or you hate it. I noticed there's no in between and I think it's a little too risky to recommend as a gift. Now, if you want to order a sample tube, like they sell these samples at Little Labo, I would highly recommend gifting a sample of Santal 33, but that's, it's too much to give as a gift unless someone says they actually want it. Next up, I have Lush Turmeric Latte. Lush bottles are weird because, like, this is, like, the cheapest lid ever. It's, like, all bent up, but, like, whatever. This smells like Christmas. I can't tell you what it smells like in any capacity. It's just very warm. I, like, I get vanilla and I get some tonka. I don't know, maybe, like, chestnut. This, it's winter. It's Christmas. It's like, this is great. And last one I have is one that I don't own, also on my list. And why is that Libre is what I'm going to call it. Uh, that one smells fantastic. When I had sprayed the sample on me, uh, people were just like eating it up. I know it doesn't smell great on everyone, but like it's very popular. And I think more people than not love it. So I think it's kind of a safe suggestion to go on this list. Now this is the hard part. I have my makeup and I tried to curate this gift list of things that I have repurchased multiple times or things that I use on a regular but it's not something you repurchase a lot. Like an eyeshadow palette you you will probably repurchase if you run out but you're not repurchasing it as often as like I don't know, a face primer, right? So I'm going to go with the things that I for sure wrote down and then I'm going to like look around and see, so I was writing this in a different room, see like what I might have forgotten. First on my list is, where did she go? Oh, here it is. The Benefit Give Me Brow. I have some of the mini, I don't think this is the full size. I had a few minis laying around. I have a full size. This, I'm wearing it now, mixed with another product that will be listed. I love this. It adds so much color to my brows that even though I have some areas that are really sparse, you would never tell. My eyebrows look great. They always look great. I love Dip Brow, but I have barely been using it. I'm always just using this. This is Holy Grail. This is probably my fourth, fifth, sixth, I've lost count little bottle of this can't get enough. And what I have paired it with is the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. If you like this 
laminated brow look. This is your best friend. I'm almost out of this one. I have a spare tube. Thank goodness. Amazing. This next product I have been using since 2019, 2018, something like that. I don't know how many I've been through. This is one that I just opened recently and is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I know some people do not like this. I have fantastic luck with it. My skin type is textured, normal, dry in the winter, acne prone, and this makes my makeup look fantastic. Two setting sprays. First is the Urban Decay by Skindinavia All Nighter Setting Spray. Ride or die, endless bottles of this. Love it. This is especially good in the winter, but if you spray this, your makeup's not going anywhere. Also, it doesn't dry my skin out and it doesn't break me out. Her friend, her hydrating friend, MAC Prep and, Pl Pr Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Multiple bottles, I got a backup for when she is empty. This hydrates my skin really well. I like it because it doesn't set it as much as this. This, if you set it, it's not moving. This, if you set it, once it's wet, you can still kind of like push things in. That both are great options. This next one, I'm going to have to just pull it out because it's all of them. The Melt Cream Blush Light. I have all of them. All of them have not, they don't fit in here. I have two that I use as bronzers. So here's all the ones I use as blushes and here are the two I use as bronzers. I realized that was very loud. I apologize. So my favorite everyday bronzer color is Lynx. You can see she's very loved. In the summer, when I have a tan, Sundown is a great bronzer moment. And I have all the blushes. The one I have used the most so far has been Miss Sandy Cheeks. I love Sandy Cheeks. It's a nice orange blush. I'll give you a little swatch. So if I had one color recommendation, it's Sandy Cheeks. I love her. These blend out so well. Like, look at that. Beautiful. You can only have one blush of any kind. I definitely recommend these. Something I'm always talking about is the NYX Glitter Primer. It's what I use on every shimmer eye look. Not just glitter. It makes shimmer stand out so good. I've been through multiple tubes of this. It, everyone will love it. I would like to recommend a foundation just because maybe you're watching this because you have a gift card and you're looking for something and this isn't for someone else. It's very hard to find foundation for someone else if you don't know their shade. The Estee Lauder... Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation will forever be my holy grail. I'm wearing her today. Every time I wear her, I look like an angel has kissed me from the heavens. And it's this. It's always this. I have other foundations that look great. But if I look exceptionally good, it's always her. The next thing I am wearing, and I now have four, but the Pat McGrath. Lust Gloss, I think is their Lust Gloss, yes. Lust Gloss Lip Gloss. The shade I'm wearing today is Faux Real. This gloss is so comfortable, it smells like cake batter, and it's stunning. Hands down, that's all you need. Surprisingly, I have three mascaras for you. They are my three most used mascaras. And they are in various price ranges. The first is Drugstore and it is L'Oreal, I think. Yes. L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This has replaced Too Faced Better Than Sex for me and it works just as well. Uh, people like it more. I like it just as well. I'm wearing it today on my top lashes. On my bottom lashes, I'm wearing... The Rare Beauty Mascara. I think it has a specific name, but it's not on the tube. I got the sample guy. I buy most all of my mascaras, unless they're drugstore, because they don't come in samples. In sample sizes, because you are supposed to replace these every, like, three to six months. Because I love to try mascaras, when I talk about I love to try mascaras, like, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like, 
these are all the other mascaras I have. So I get the tiny tubes because I um, want to try them. And I also have the RMS Beauty. This and Rare Beauty are my two favorite everyday mascaras or bottom lash mascaras. And I'll always like to have my bottom lashes as full and thick as my top lashes, so I'll use one of these. Now, another drugstore option that I'm just throwing in here that I always forget I like is this Revlon So Fierce Eyes Wide Open. I would say this is on par with the Lash Paradise. And um, all four of these are great options. They're all kind of different budgets and they're different depending on what you want. If you want thin, long, everyday lashes, RMS Beauty or Rare Beauty is great. If you want those thick, sexy, glamorous lashes, either the L'Oreal or the Revlon. This, I haven't worn it all over my face yet because I have forgotten. I am wearing it as a highlight today. I like, look at this. Look at it. This is the Auric Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer. This has replaced my Charlotte Tilbury. And let me tell you, Charlotte who? Who is she? This is the most luxurious packaging I have ever held in my life. It feels so expensive. I just can't. So, first of all, I look like a goddess. L like, let's just say it. Now, I had a hard time choosing colors. I'm going to put a little on my hand. I went with the lightest shade because based on the pictures, the second one looked like it might be too dark and exclude, excuse my like dry, gross hands. So here it is. Stop focusing. You can see I probably could have gone with the next one because this one is cool tone. But, like, there it is spread out a little. Stop focusing on me. And it is, like, it's not bad, right? Like, it blends out and it's, it's maybe a little more icy in person than I would have preferred. But I'm still not sure that the second one wouldn't have been too dark. But I highly recommend that. It is a luxury item, so it is expensive. I have a smoke reflect I haven't tried yet, but on that note, I have only used this twice now, but like I have to recommend it because I got so many compliments. Like it was baffling. So this is the Lid Luster by Victoria Beckham Beauty in the shade Honey. Hello. Show you her. I wasn't sure because this does not look like that impressive right like I got it I swatched it I put it on my eye and I was like it's pretty but like I don't know and then I proceeded to get like a hundred and ten thousand compliments about how nice I looked like more than in my whole life so I don't know like I didn't have any other makeup on that day except for this so <laughs> had to have been that I think it's just so subtle and the other thing I love about it is you can blend it out and the shimmer disappears, but you keep the base color. So it is a perfect one and done. Like you put it all over your lid, blend out the edges, and it looks flawless. I'm not sure what kind of magic is in this thing, but like a great luxury gift if you're looking to give one. For somebody who just wants a basic everyday, there's multiple everyday colors. And if you have someone with a darker complexion or someone who just wants to have a fancier, bolder color, she has those as well. But this really surprised me and has become one of my favorite items to just do when I want minimal makeup but want to look like bomb. Okay, so next up I have some palettes that I think are just really nice. You're going to notice a theme in the colors. But I'm going for nice everyday palettes because not everyone wants like red and gold eyes like I have right now. The first is a new nude by Huda Beauty. Everyone is tired of hearing me talk about her. I talk about her endlessly. Pink mauve -y tones, not everyone's cup of tea. Has a couple of pressed glitters. But this is a solid palette. She goes on sale a lot. I think she was just half off. Next, 
along the same vein, but I think this one is more friendly for people who want more. This is that on steroids. And if I had to choose between the two, I would pick this one just because of the versatility. It's Lunar Beauty Nude Prism. Manny kills it with the packaging. But this offers all the rosy shades, but also just some warm nudes as well. I love this palette so much. I love Lunar Beauty's formula. So this is, I think, if you're getting someone something who doesn't have a large makeup collection and you kind of want to cover a lot of bases, I think this is a great idea. The other one is great if you just know someone loves pinks. Speaking of loving pinks, you could get the other version of this. I think this is too. Yes, you could get version number one and it would be warm neutrals. This is pinks. So that's why I got it. And it is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette. You can see I've been loving on her quite a bit. I love this. Now, I do wish that the two topper shades were just two shimmers, but I understand the topper shades are trying to give you some versatility so you have multiple things to work with and they're not just all shimmers. So I won't complain. They're beautiful toppers and they work really well, but I think that was another great palette. And then my last couple, if you want to, you know, like splurge a little bit, this year's Pat McGrath holiday collection, I'm wearing the large one. I'm moving stuff around, I apologize. I'm wearing this one today. I'm very happy with the quality of it. I still have some shades I haven't tried yet, like the purples and the blues. But I've tried both ends. This is her. I've used this end and I've used this end. I just haven't used the middle yet. This is a great option. This is the... Mothership Celestia Nirvana and then what I recommend even more is her two little babies. I mentioned these in favorites as well. This is the Bronze Bliss and this one is Nude Allure. These two I really really recommend because they're really inexpensive for Pat McGrath. The big one is more expensive and then this one I have been using a lot since I got her. I love my other Mothership palettes too, but I want to make this video 800 years long. This is the Mothership Utopian Dream. I, I love this one. It pairs really nicely with the other one I have. Why I'm recommending this one over the other one is because this is a little less rosy and I already gave you three rose things and I hear so many complaints on the internet. Stop giving us rose eyeshadows. So I'm not going to give you all rose eyeshadows. Plus, I just gave you this nude allure one, which is like rose. So those are my beauty product recommendations for this year. I could recommend my entire collection, but that would be like a lot. And so we're not going to do that. All right, let's move on to clothing items. I just realized I had a hidden item I wanted to recommend for makeup. Let's go back to that real quick. This is the Ultra Matte Powder Bronzer in Santa Barbara. These do run fairly yellow toned. Let me swatch real quick. But it works great on my golden olive skin. It doesn't pull too red. So... This is my most used bronzer. It's what I'm wearing today. Highly recommend. Now let's move on to clothes. I'm gonna start with this because it's on top. I need to wash it because I spilled pickles on it. This and this is a link. What one it is? But it's the North Face like fuzzy. It's not the Denali. It's something else. I live in this coat. It is so warm. Uh, it's a great transition or like. You know those winter days where it's not freezing because the sun is out but you still need a coat because the hoodie isn't enough? This is perfect for that. This is also perfect for transitioning from fall to winter or winter to spring. I love this jacket. I've had it for a few years and highly recommend that as a gift. Up next, are you sick of me talking about Lululemon leggings yet? Because Lululemon leggings. 
I got this pair because they're like the oldest ones I have. So like they're more stretched out so you can see. These stretch out quite a bit and they keep their shape, but like they would conform to your body quite well. So I sized down in these are the Align leggings specifically. So a 16 would fit me well until I um, wore them a few times and then the 16 would probably be too big. So I got the 14, but these, if you watch any of their videos that I talked about them, they are so comfortable. I live in cozy pants like this. I think they're a great gift because everyone's obsessed with them. They're very trendy, but they're also very comfortable. So 10 out of 10 recommend. I didn't bring them in here about Ugg boots of any kind. They're expensive. They might be ugly, but as someone who loses feeling in their feet every winter, every day, they're a lifesaver. I have three pairs of boots, a pair of slippers, and a pair of rain boots, and... I have collected them over many years. They last a really long time. My oldest pair is almost 10 years old. Still going strong. I think they're a great gift if you want to do something big and luxurious for someone who's cold all the time. You can't go wrong. I have the slippers here because they're actually a recommendation. I don't remember what kind these are exactly and they have a cat hair on them. Does the inside say? No. Uh, I've had these for a few years now and I love them. I love, love, love them. Next up is like a pajama loungewear thing and I think I mentioned these in one of my videos last year for gift ideas and it is the Old Navy, Old Navy Thermal Knit uh, pajama pants. I live in these. I have it's more or less except for one other type of pajamas, the only pajamas I wear. They're so comfortable, they're so warm. And Old Navy does amazing sales all holiday season. You'll pick these up. They also have like new prints every year if you want holiday prints. I have some holiday prints, but I mostly stick to like the regular ones. If you watched my uh, spooky shirt video, you'll know that I love Stephen Rhodes. Stephen Rhodes shirts. They come in hoodies, they come in long sleeve. They're just funny. There are endless designs. There are like uh, movie designs and stuff. There are some that are not like spooky related, but just kind of like sarcastic and snarky. I love his stuff and I think that they would be a really fun gift to give somebody. Okay, Old Navy Lux shirts and tanks. I'm wearing a Lux tank right now, but here's a t-shirt. Good old white tee. They're flowy, they come in long sleeves, they come in like mock turtlenecks, they're so soft. They're very lightweight, they're very breathable, but the softness, I don't know if you could tell just how soft these are. Amazing gift, I love Old Navy, I don't care what anyone says, they're great. American Eagle jeans, these ones specifically are like the next level high rise jeggings. I like that they stitch in what the heck they're called. And you can't like see them, but uh, you get the idea. But all of their jeans are really nice quality. These are some of the best fitting jeans I've had since I was like in high school. I, I plan to try other ones, but if you're looking to get someone some pants, American Eagle is a great place to get them, especially when they're having a sale. And for those of you who don't live in cold places, these are the Levi's high rise shorts. These are so comfortable, so cozy. The best fitting shorts ever. I've always wanted like uh, these like unfinished hems, but because I'm apple shaped, they usually look very strange on me because my legs are really skinny and all of my weight is like in my midsection. So they get really baggy around the leggings, uh, leggings, really baggy around the legs and I have no butt. So they hang weird, but these don't, these hang perfect. I love them. So if you're somewhere warm that wears shorts all year, uh, there's an idea for you. My last like clothing item, my chair is weird, forgive me, is uh, band slip-ons. I've been wearing these since 2007, not this exact pair. They would not look like this. 
This is my second pair of this color. I wore through another pair of mine. I've been wearing Vans since high school and can't go wrong. Any style. We'll say with slip-ons, uh, I have to size up a half size. So I'm normally a seven. I have to get a seven and a half. Just a fun fact. There are other shoes I wear seven and I don't know what it is about those, but great gift. You could even custom design some on their website, which is super fun. Let's go into some relaxation, cozy, mental health combined gifts. I don't have all of these. Okay, let's start off with a couple things that I don't have that I think are cool. And that first one is weighted blanket. I've heard great things about weighted blankets. I found one that was highly rated on Amazon. I don't have one yet, but I would like to get one. I've heard they're great for calming and anxiety. The next one is a hatch. I've heard mixed reviews on this, but mostly positive, so I'm curious, but it's expensive. It's like a sunrise mimicking lamp and a sound machine, and it looks so cool. I struggle in the winter to not have the sunrise and sunset as bright as it is, especially on overcast days like today. I struggle to wake up properly, so I have always wanted to give this a try. Uh, again, like I said, it's mostly good reviews, but some people say it isn't worth it. I want to throw it on here because I think it's really cool and it would be worth trying. Next up is just a good old-fashioned journal. I find journaling has been really helpful to just say what I need to say right away. And I don't always have to talk about it because sometimes I just... It doesn't seem important enough to have a conversation about. And sometimes it's just personal and you just having your own thoughts and just want to get them out. Having a journal is really great. I also have a journal banging around here where I write down like the uh, makeup products that I used for a look and a date. So if I'm looking at a photo and I'm like, ooh, that eyeshadow looked good. What did I use? I remember. So journals have multiple purposes and I think they're just really fun. I don't remember where my mom got this for me, but uh Got this as a birthday gift. It's really cute. Up next, these are affirmation cards. This is an independent creator. I'm forgetting. Oh, it's on the front. I was like, where's the name? Tarisha Clark. These are the I am everything affirmation deck cards. These have really helped me with my anxiety. I'll just pull one out and read it. So this one is I am alive. I honor my life by letting go, dancing, singing, and feeling the fullness of my joyful energy. I am my true self when I'm having fun. I am alive. I think they're just nice little reminders to ground you. I have another deck somewhere over there. Ah, uh, I got these ones on Amazon, so I will leave a link to. I, I think they're just really nice. I tend to often write down the one I pick in my journal so I can like reflect on it. And I think they're just really way, a really way, a really nice way to ground yourself and be present. Up next, I'm calling this a Snuggie. I think it's just an armed blanket. We all remember the Snuggie, right? I, I have to see this. I thought the Snuggie was goofy and then a family friend got me one as a joke and I became obsessed. This is a snuggy for bougie people, and I am bougie people. Eric's parents got this for me last year. I'm trying to find the arms. Okay, so it's an armed blanket, but it's like better than a snuggie because the inside is Sherpa and it's like super thick. So it's like it's really soft. What is it? It's not fleece. It's softer than fleece and then sure on the inside now it has like a little pocket for you to either put your hands in or your phone in but you you know you wear it and i'm cold all the freaking time and this is great because i can like have my hands out to like text and stuff and it's so good i haven't had a snuggie in a while and um this is way better than any snuggie i've ever had highly recommend this. It's very warm. The next item is a robe of any kind. I have an Ugg robe. I'll insert a picture. It's fantastic. I want to get a robe for wearing to put on makeup. Any kind of robe. Just that extra cozy layer. Amazing gift. 
Uh, these ones are a special interest of mine, so I don't know if everyone will relate, but I love them. First is Squishmallows. This is Carl, the cheeseburger. I didn't name him. He came named. And, uh, this big guy was only $15 at Costco, so check your Costco out for some cute Squishmallows. Now, again, I don't want every Squishmallow. I want, like, ones that I'm really drawn to. Very drawn to Carl, okay? And they're just so soft and relaxing to cuddle with, use as a pillow, whatever. The next item, these are just cute collectibles, right? They're called Jelly Cats. Um, this is, this first one is Sheldon Shrimp. Tell me this is the cutest fucking thing you've ever seen. Tell me. I love Sheldon. Love. And then this one looks like Cheeto. This is just Ginger Cat. Ginger Kitten. Uh, so it's Cheeto. Obviously it's Cheeto. I need to take the tags off. I can't handle it. I want all the jelly cats. All of them. There's not a single one that I've seen that isn't the cutest thing ever. There's some Squishmallows that I'm not super into. Jelly cats, all of them. Uh, if you know someone who likes little stuffed animals, get them a jelly cat. They'll love you forever. I hope that you're happy like you live with me now because we've been here forever. But we're not done. We're not done. We're going to move out of home items. I didn't bring, like, I brought two of these things in here. Because they're too big. I can't bring them in. The first, I forgot. And it is the balsam candle from Bath and Body Works. If you want a nice holiday scent that everyone's going to love, it smells like Christmas trees. You can't go wrong with that. It's the best candle scent they have for this season. I love tons of their candles, but I never, ever get sick of that balsam candle. Get it for everyone you know. Great gift. Next is an espresso machine. I know. You're going to look at me like I'm an insane person because it's expensive. They do make cheaper ones, and the cheaper ones work good too. But ask yourself, how much do you spend on coffee? How much do you spend on Starbucks? This machine paid for itself by me never going to Starbucks again. And the coffee tastes way better, I'm telling you. So good. I also love that you can, like, recycle the pods. I mailed away my first pod bag recently. It was very exciting. This machine is just so great. Got it last year for Christmas, and it is one of the best gifts ever. The next one is a hydro flask. You aren't aware of what a hydro flask is. It's got this little symbol here. This is the big boy. I think this is a 40 ounce. I recommend getting the straw. I don't have the straw yet. I need to get the straw. This keeps your water so cold. You won't even believe the magic. If you like cold water. If you like warm drinks, this will also work for that too. I also have this 24 ounce that I covered in stickers. I got all of these off Redbubble. Supporting artists. Um, love these. Eric has one. I, this is more of like my everyday one. I haven't stickerized this one, but I got this or when I'm outside in the summer, so I don't have to come inside every 22 seconds to fill this one. Because this goes really fast when you're, like, warm and, like, doing yard work. This lasts longer. But hydro flask. Everyone loves one. Get, get one. Even if they have one, get them another one. This one, I think they redesigned, so the one I have to show you would look completely different anyway. The Yeti Can Cooler. Uh, they have one for, like, sparkling beverages, like, tall, skinny cans, and then just your regular, like, 12-ounce can of, like, soda, pop, whatever. Uh, love it. Use mine obsessively. It keeps your drink very cold for a very long time. Yeti anything is, like, worth the coin because it's patented to work, and boy does it. Uh, candle wick trimmer. I also forgot, which is probably why I forgot to grab the candle. So instead of trying to like stick nail clippers or scissors in there, just get this little device. Great little stocking stuffer or gift. Like you could give the candle and the wick trimmer. Great gift. Uh, stick vacuum. Any kind. I have the Dyson, but any of the kinds work. Shark. There's some Amazon brands people swear work really, really well. Get someone a stick vacuum. They will love it. I promise. You know what they will love more than a stick vacuum? An air fryer. I'm not even joking. When air fryer, I say that air fryers are going to take over the world because they're 
They're better than ovens. I don't know. Everything that you cook in it tastes better. It's great. And I can't imagine life without one. I'm very thankful that my mom gifted us one a few years ago. The last home item I have, the really nice chef's knife. I would like to upgrade my knife. Mine is just fine. It's not bad. I want a really nice one. And it's the only knife you need. You don't need any other knife in your kitchen. Just that one singular fancy knife. Invest in a knife and gift it to a friend who likes to cook. They'll really appreciate it. We're down to our last two um, categories. This one is electronics. Starting with an external hard drive. There isn't a brand that's really better than others. There are just brands that are maybe better for what you're using it for. I have a Lissy drive because I do YouTube and I do photography and it's best for storage of photos and videos. But any other hard drive, I should say, it's best for like high size file photos. Like I don't just use my phone for photography. I use a DSLR camera. So the files and the raw footage, like raw files are quite large. So the Lissy just works a little better. But there are plenty of good ones. I'll give you uh, what I have in a link and also like another good one that is much more budget friendly than what I have. Next, bow sound link. I think this is the number two. Yes, sound link color two. I got this as a birthday gift from Eric in like 2014 or something. I don't know. He's seen it beat up. It's covered in paint from when I painted the bathroom. This is my best friend. We've been through so much together. Highly recommend this as a Bluetooth speaker. Next up is a Roku. I think everyone has some kind of streaming device of some kind, but if they don't, or you don't, a Roku is great. I love the Roku. I know some people have preferences to, or it's like Apple TV or another one. I know there are other brands. I just don't remember the other brands. I like Roku. I think it's the most reliable. I think it's the most versatile. So I will recommend Roku. Up next, this is a hefty one. This is probably going to be my most expensive suggestion on this list. But bear with me. There is a budget option. But the one I'm going to recommend, because it's the one I want, like, listen. A turntable. Specifically a U-turn turntable. Specifically the Orbit Theory turntable. And like, I know. They have cheaper ones. Honestly, any turntable from U-turn is highly rated, highly recommended. They're handcrafted in New Jersey. They put a lot of time, effort into making like the best turntable. So if you're into vinyls, get one. But if you're really into vinyls, Maybe this one. Look into it. Save up to it. Think about it. I don't know. Like, beg, plead, write letters to Santa. It's on my list for next year, I think. And the next one is, I don't know if this, this might have also, no, because I just got it this year. And I think it was in a favorites video. A Kindle. I have been loving having my Kindle and not having to read on, like, a heavy traditional tablet. I have the paper white with no ads. I love it. I got it during like prime days or whatever. I use it a lot. And I think anyone who loves reading would love to have a Kindle too. Next up is my miscellaneous like hobbies. I only have a couple of things so we're almost done. The first is vinyls. I've gotten very into vinyls over the last two years and I'm ready to upgrade which is why I had the turntable on here. But vinyls, I, I just love it. If somebody's really into music and they're into vinyls, just get them a gift card to their local um, local record store. That's a great gift. Or maybe they have a wish list of vinyls and you can search through that. I promise it's such a fun gift. You can't wait. You get a vinyl as a gift and you immediately just like rip it open and put it on the thing. It's just, it's really fun. Up next is Prismacolor color pencils. I forgot to bring those over here too, but they are the best color pencils. I always recommend them to anyone who wants to get into any kind of drawing or coloring because they are just the best in my opinion. Next up is Kate Spade anything. I have Kate Spade cups, jewelry, purses, picture frames, um, uh, little knickknacks, a scarf, 
uh, earmuffs. I love Kate Spade. Everything by Kate Spade is well worth it in my opinion. And uh, I think it's a great gift because her stuff is so cute. It's very beautiful. And a lot of it goes on sale. So check out her website. My last item, my camera's flashing at me. Can I finish this video? Artwork from Etsy. Support a local artist to find out what kind of stuff your loved one is into and find some art pieces on Etsy. It's super unique. You support a small business and somebody gets something that nobody else has or very few people have. It's a great gift idea. I have quite a few art pieces on my wish list this year. And with that, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and leave your gift ideas down below that you think I might like. Maybe I'll add it onto next year's list or my birthday list. I will see you guys next time.